Today we go nuclear. We're going to be looking at a Minecraft add-on which adds in a bunch of new TNT to your Minecraft games. There's even some new throwables that you have as well. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this add-on. Now to begin with, let's go and look at all the different throwables. So there is a whole range of different types of throwables that you can obtain. From generic bombs to launchers to tear gas and much more. And we're just going to go ahead and begin by looking at the dynamite sticks. Now to get the dynamite sticks, it's going to be using one TNT of your choice. So for Tiles 4, this will give you the Tiles 4 dynamite sticks. But we're just going to go ahead and throw a few of these. So then we resolve the dynamite stick. Let's throw it right down there. Then we resolve the caber. We have the smoke grenade. Now the smoke grenade is actually a really cool one. Because whenever you throw it, this actually will go ahead and give you blindness. But also a bunch of smoke particles are going to go around you as well. So it makes it a little bit harder to go ahead and see. Now for the blindness effect, you get blindness too for about 10 seconds. So then we have the singularity grenade, which let's see, can we find any animals? Okay, there's some cows down there. And this is going to go ahead and pull in any mob or entity that's around the area, including yourself or any other items. So this will last for a few seconds and then it's going to go ahead and dissipate. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We have the potassium charge. Let's go ahead and throw this one down. And I have no idea what this one is going to do. Um, does it even do anything? Um, I'm really not sure if these do anything at all right now. Here it sells the phosphorus charge, the tear gas, the molotov, the generic bomb, and that's it for those. Now the molotov, this is going to go ahead and cause an explosion along with some fire. The potassium charge. Okay, so it looks like it gives you smoke. So then there it sells the tear gas. I think it's the tear gas that gives you nausea. Yeah, this is the one that gives you nausea. So then there it sells the generic bomb. Let's go throw these down and these will work just like normal bombs. Now I also noticed that sometimes they may look like they disappear, but they're actually not disappearing. But there we go. That's now it for all those. And then we're sold some missile launchers as well. Now I'm only going to showcase one missile launcher. They're just going to be the same sizes as the dynamite sticks, but except they're just the missile form. Let's go ahead and throw it down. And now after you go ahead and toss it, you get yourself an empty launcher. Then you have to go ahead and get yourself one of these left. So if I go and check that right there, then put this right there, then we go to souls and launcher level 6. Let's go ahead and look at the TNT block. And to get those, it is going to be using a function, which is more TNT. Now for our first three TNT, we have ourselves the times 8, the times 2, and the times 4. So the first one we're going to spawn in is going to be a times 2. So let's go ahead and blow up this one. Now times 2 looks like that one. Times 4 looks like that, so it's a little bit bigger than that one. Then we have souls times 8. And let's see how big this one is. So it is going to be that size. So times 2, times 4, and times 8. Now with that, let's go ahead and move on to the special TNTs. Hydrogen Bomb. Now this one does take a little bit of time to go ahead and activate. So let's go ahead and fly upwards. And let's go ahead and see this bad boy explode. And a few seconds later, it has just exploded. And I actually can't notice what it did so far. But it is blasting us back. And it is causing tremendous lag. What does this do to the village? It just loaded in. And look at that explosion. Oh my. Did we just find a stronghold underneath the village? The whole village is almost gone. For the napalm, I believe that this is going to cause an explosion as well. It's a fire on area. But look at those particle effects. Now, if you are playing on the beta, you actually will not get all these special effects. Which is actually quite unfortunate. So there is a few bugs in the beta. But if you are playing on the full version like I am, then it's going to work as intended. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is going to be the nuke. For the nuke, this one's probably going to be quite big as well, but this will take a little bit of time to go ahead and explode as well. But once it does explode, you will be happy with the explosion. But look at that, we got ourselves nausea, but just like before, the explosion did take a little bit of time to load, but there we go. This does give you some pretty cool effects, and I like it quite a bit. But anyway, I'm not 100% sure how long the particles are going to last for, but okay, the particles just disappear. Guess what I found? I found a village we can destroy. And what better way to destroy the village but with some C4. Yeah, we're just going to get literally place out a bunch of C4s and then we're going to blow it up. Oh, come on, zombie. Don't be killing the villagers. For the item that you're going to need, you need the C4 detonator. Now, the moment you go and interact with this, all of them should activate and there we go. So, it looks like most of them did activate, but not every single one of them. So the best way to do this is just walk around here and just go ahead and activate these and then look behind us and see what the explosion is. But yeah, we did destroy a pretty decent part of this village. 
But we are not done. Because now we need the Bedrock Buster. The zombie just killed another villager. Not very good, but that zombie is now dead. And so is the villager that the zombie wanted. Does Bedrock get destroyed whenever this explodes? If it doesn't, oh, it does. I was about to say, if it doesn't blow it up, then I'll be very, very surprised. Now for the sticky bombs, I'm gonna go ahead and place down one right here. And the way that this works is that whenever you go ahead and ignite this, it will spawn a cobweb right underneath. It will spawn a cobweb right underneath it, and then it's gonna explode. That villager survived. Villager, you are not gonna survive my TNT. Okay, you are not gonna survive this. You are gonna go down, down, down. Don't watch me. But anyway, we're just gonna move on to the next one, which is gonna be the Tesla bomb. So I'm gonna go place this down. Please, I hope that there's some mobs around this area when it does explode. Oh my goodness, it strikes lightning now. I've gotta get this lightning party underway. We have the dynamite. Now if I go and spawn in the dynamite right here, we're then gonna go ahead and ignite this. And it looks like it spawns a few more around the area, but then it's gonna go ahead and explode. And look at that explosion, oh my goodness. We're just gonna go ahead and grab the cargo charge. The way that this works, it will freeze water around the area. So I'm actually going to go on back up, and there we go. We now resolve some ice in the area. And for the grand finale, we're going to place down not one hydrogen bomb, not two, but three. I am probably going to regret this later on. One exploded. Oh boy, this is going to be bad. Oh boy, what's this explosion going to look like? Okay, the other one just went off. Yep, the third one just exploded. Look at that. The, look at that explosion size. Oh my god. Goodness, we annihilated this place. Oh, we run those diamonds. So we at least we know it goes down the diamond level. That's basically it for everything that this add-on does introduce to us. And if you do want to get this, there will be a link down below in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, hope you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye.